back in the kitchen. Both Chef's chicken ticket is out of the oven and Andrum is ready to finish off her masala sauce, which has reduced and is ready for the next stage. So what I'm going to do now to finish yep. this off, I'm going to add some water into my sauce because it's so reduced now. Yeah. I want to pass it. So I want to get rid of all those spices that are kind of given their flavour already. So I want it to be a really silky, smooth sauce. Anjum passes the sauce through a sieve to get rid of the whole spices. So to finish off the dish, yeah. some more butter. I like green chilies. Okay. I'm going to pierce these. If you don't pierce them, They'll you burst. will burst. Yeah, they'll, you'll, they'll blow up, really. OK, so mm. in with my butter. Anjum prefers to use whole green chilies rather than chopped to get the flavour without the intense heat. Whilst that's happening, I've got my chicken. Yep. I like to tear it off with my fingers because when you're I like it. no, but I like the craggy bits because the craggy bits soak up all that lovely yep. sauce, right? So that's what I would do. I would get in there and just kind of, you know, if it's pink, that's absolutely fine. I'd prefer it. It would just absorb some of the lovely juices while it finishes off. I'm going to add my sauce in. Then add my chicken in. And I'm going to try and get some of these charred bits. I'm going to finish this off with some cream. I'm putting single cream, actually, because I th actually think it works fine well, with I single think it's cream. Better. It's better and you don't need it to be double. And I don't like it to be too claggy, actually. Dried fenugreek. You can talk about them earlier. They are absolutely amazing. They're brilliant. And they, they don't smell as good as they taste, but you just sort of crumble them between your fingers. If there are any little twigs, take them out. You can get dried fenugreek leaves from Asian supermarkets. Anjum adds a touch of sugar and salt and she's almost ready to serve. Time for Cyrus to finish off his masala sauce. In the pan, we've got the onion, the chilli, the ginger, the garlic and the cumin. Yep. OK. Got some diced tomato here. The pulp is here, which I'm going to put first into my pan. Cyrus has sieved the pulp of the tomato to remove any seeds. I'm going to put the tomatoes in. OK. Okay. We didn't put any salt in the beginning, so I'm just putting some salt now. So here now, yeah. we got <clears throat> all the powders and the spices are in there, right. nothing in there. Okay, right. So I'm just going to chuck my chicken tikka in there. Cyrus then adds single cream and it's almost time to serve up. You want to try some? Yes, I do. There you go. And I'll just put my coriander in. If you yes. just let me do that. Perfect. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, so very simple actually. I think it's best served in nice paratha. Yeah, you're right. Parantas yeah. are lovely, that flaky because bread. Because you use your fingers, you dip it in and you just mm. heat with it. I have this classic Indian serving dish, the bolti ah, dish. Ah, you got the kadai. I'm going to serve mine with the parantas too. That is my classic chicken tikka masala. And that's my perfect classic butter chicken. Time for Cyrus and Anjum to find out which classic chicken tikka masala is perfect. Go on, then. All right, check. Chicken tikka masala, one butter chicken, two. I told you. Thank you. Oh, I thought, great. I told At you. At least I've got one win. I'm oh. happy. The judges liked Cyrus's home-styled chicken tikka masala. But for them, this British favourite's roots are with the classic Indian butter chicken, and they were bowled over by Anjum's version of this dish. For the perfect chicken tikka, Marinate thighs in yoghurt, lemon, garlic, ginger, chilli powder and cumin before cooking in a very hot oven on the grill setting to get a slightly charred finish. Make a rich sauce of butter, whole spices, tomatoes and single cream before adding the cooked chicken. Serve with paratha bread to mop up the sauce. Delicious! Time for round two. This is where Andrew and Cyrus must keep it simple and come up with dishes using everyday ingredients that are as tasty as they are easy to make. But which dish will our judges go for? So, my perfect, really quick dish is a lamb carty roll. Fantastic. But made quicker. Mine is a good old samosa, which everybody great, makes. Great old samosa. Yeah, Absolutely. but it's slightly different because I'm going to put some odd ingredients into it. Cyrus starts off his samosa filling by frying ginger garlic paste, chopped green chilies, and a minced onion in sunflower oil. And while that is happening, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just mix up some powders in, okay. a, in a bowl. So the usual uh, chili powder. I've got a bit of turmeric in. Yep. Uh, coriander. Yep. And I'm going to put some cumin powder in. Okay. 
touch of water. All right. Now, this is what I always tell people when they are mm. cooking with powders and that, that go into the food directly. The important thing is, if you are not used to, like we are, putting mm. chucking powders in directly, mm. the best thing you can do mm. is to add some water to it and make it okay. like a paste. Cyrus adds the paste to the pan along with salt, cubed and parboiled potatoes and carrots and some water. He then adds peas, chopped green beans and blended fresh tomatoes and then leaves to simmer for around five minutes or until the liquid has dried out. So I've got some chip, chopped coriander. Yep. My spinach. Rice. Goes in there, goes in there. So all the moisture's dried up in your pan. All the moisture's dried up now, so okay. it's nice and dry and it's nice and sticky. Okay, a bit of lime juice. Another variation. Okay, I need to try some. I've been looking at it thinking. Okay, so try it. This looks amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Looks colorful. Mmm. Mmm. Nice? Mmm. Good. So mm. that's done. With the filling for Cyrus's samosa done, Anjum gets started on her lamb carti roll. So a kati roll is just a typical Indian street food. Absolutely. It's uh, anything you want wrapped up in bread, basically. Absolutely. So I'll start with the lamb. What cut are you using? I'm using rump, actually. All right, you so can it use... cooks quickly. Yeah, I mean, the whole point is to cook, it's, it's quick cook, All right. right? So I'm going to brown my lamb off just a little bit to get some colour. Yeah. And I like the kind of caramelised flavour of browning yeah. lamb. So just get this going. So I, I love to make this, this particular dish when I keep around for dinner. Yeah. We don't do starters in Indian food. We have drinks, and with drinks we have snacks, right? Yeah. So this is the kind of snack I'd probably have, give, you know, make it hot, fresh, and serve it around people having drinks. OK, I can take okay. this out. Slightly brown. Keep all those lovely flavours in. A little bit of oil. You don't really want much. In goes my ginger and garlic paste. So, so I'm going to add a little bit of cumin, yeah. and a little bit of garam masala. She then adds salt and pepper, water and a squeeze of lemon juice before reintroducing the lamb. I'm putting in my onions and my tomatoes. Tomatoes. I'm taking it off the heat. I don't want to cook it, I just want yeah, it to wilt. Yeah, because otherwise it gets tough again. Anjum sets her lamb to one side and gets on with the bread part of her kati roll, which is traditionally homemade paratha bread, but she's got a clever shortcut. I bought shop-bought pastry, puff pastry. Yeah, that's good. Easy. I bought what Any... I get at my super, supermarket shelf. I didn't want to get too pricey about whether it has butter or whatever, because actually it all works nonetheless. Yeah. So, I've got my little cookie cutter. If you Perfect. buy a block, you just roll out um, rotis whatever how you want, want it, right? Yeah. These are cocktails, so I'm going to just do this size. Roll them out a little bit. Anjum dusts the board and the pastry with flour to stop it from sticking. I am going to roll it out into an oval, just so it has space. It envelopes the lamb sure. rather than a round, which is more traditional in the puff pastry. But because I'm keeping these quite small, yeah. I didn't want the lamb to fall out. So really, it's as simple as that. Perfect. OK, on they go. Anjum puts the pastry rolls in a dry pan for a minute before flipping and brushing the cooked side with egg wash. All right, so these are done. Let's flip yeah. it over. It's like, yeah, there we are. The eggs ah, cooked. That's all we want. And now I just take them off the pan, take yeah. them out of the heat, and let them cool so I can roll them. Okay, can I smell one? Smell. Perfect. Both Cyrus and Anjum have gone for popular Indian snacks, but which dish will tick the simplicity box as well as delivering great flavour?